Welcome back to my channel. So I'm really excited because it's my very first haul video. But as you guys know, if you've been watching my videos, if you haven't, you can subscribe below. Or if you've been following my blog, um, I went to Bangkok with my family a few weeks back. Um, like the last few weeks of 2016. And I got a lot of stuff. So I thought I'd give this haul video thing a try. And yeah. So here it goes. So I basically went to a few places in Bangkok. I'll leave the links in the description bar below so you can check them out. And um, yeah, let's just go straight into the haul. So the first thing I got when I went to Bangkok were these pom-pom shorts. Well, I don't really know if they're called pom-pom shorts. It's just that they have, you know, these pom-pom things. So I call them pom-pom shorts. And these were the first ones that I picked up. I got these along Yawarat Street, which is the Chinatown Street, Chinatown Road in Bangkok. And well, they're free sized. Technically, everything here is free sized. <laughs> so I was a bit worried that I couldn't fit in them, but surprisingly, I could. So these come with the elastic waist. And this really pretty print. So obviously, I did not stop there. I went on to pick. Up another three pieces the next day at Platinum Mall and these are them I have this one that's feathery well feather print with the white pom-poms and then I got these two which are the exact same print just in different color but with the black pom-poms and these two apparently have like a ribbon thing so um, apparently it doesn't hold the shorts up like the ribbon doesn't go around the whole waist it's just there in front so I don't know I'm not really fond of ribbons but I mean ribbons at the front of your shorts but eh, I think I'll keep it on and then <laughs> it did not stop there I got two more when I went to the Chattachak market on the third day I was there but I did not get the pom-pom ones I decided to get one that was um, that had tassels and these were slightly different cut though. These were like the more airy, airy cut sort of thing. Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter because I'm wearing these at home. But for those of you who want to get your hands on these and you want to wear them out, I'd say you want to wear those like safety shorts inside. So the next one I bought were the same cut as the tassel shorts, but they have like lace lining. Like a sort of a sturdier lace. It's not really a very soft lace, but... It's kind of pretty. Um, I quite like this one actually. Like this one's probably one of my favorite ones. Those are all the shots I bought. <gasps> Can't wait to wear them around the house. So next, moving on to tops. Um, I got this white crop top from Platinum Mall, and this is like a thicker white cotton kind of top. And they have like these like really big kimono sleeves which I really really like because you know it kind of lets the air through and kind of airs your body because Singapore is just really really warm and stuffy so thick material like this would definitely like trap a lot of air and it's gonna be really really uncomfortable so yay for big sleeves and so the next one I got was this one it's a similar white well it's another white crop top but this one has yellow flowers on it so it's kind of different and this one comes with the neck detail that you just put the button on and it goes around your neck like a little choker and this one has like poofy sleeves instead of like you know the big kimono sleeves but these are not elastic so mm. it's a bit hard to get out of if you're in a rush but meh, it's fine well, I quite like this one actually. So the next, so the next top that I got was from Chattachak Market, and it's this one, this striped um, grayish blue denim. Well, it's not really denim; it's more of like a linen kind of material. And this one has like ribbons at the side, I'm, which I'm not really sure about, but. I wouldn't want to leave it down like this because it looks kind of messy so I'd rather do them up but I don't know if I want to kind of like take it out but we'll see well I know this is meant to be worn like 
off shoulder but I decided to wear it like a bit up because you know if you're gonna do like this it's gonna go up your shoulders anyway so yeah that's this one so next moving on to rompers I just got this one which is a simple black and white one with this nice little leathery feeling string that attaches the neck the necklines together so it goes around your body like this and you just tie this bit in front so it's a pretty simple print with plenty of elephants as most of my shorts have and it comes with the elastic waist and it's a really nice airy flowy material which is really really great for the Singapore weather so I think that was a pretty good buy and then I got these two baby doll dresses from the same shop because if you get um three pieces you get about 20 baht off each piece so these came from the same shop as my striped blue as my striped top so I got a discount obviously so the first dress is this one that have these little green flower prints on it these green stems and with the white flowers but I don't think you can really see the white flowers yeah so this one comes with poofy sleeves and the elastic um, wrists and an elastic waist so I thought I'd wear this with a belt solely because I didn't really like how the plain elastic looked um, which is a bit troublesome because like you know belts can be a bit annoying sometimes but yeah I'd rather wear it with a belt rather than looking kind of weird without it the next baby doll dress I got was this grey one, which I really liked. Well, this is the kind of baby doll dress that kind of makes you look a lot bigger than you actually are. Like, it gives you no waist whatsoever. It's literally like an umbrella. It makes you look like a mushroom. But I love it. And it has this nice little detailing at the back. It's a simple cross, but I quite like it. Well, I'm, I'm quite sure a lot of people will not really like this, but... I do. And the next thing I got was from a night market and it's this velvet dress. And I know I know the velvet dress trend has been around for ages and I'm probably the last one to jump on the bandwagon but never too late, right? So I got it in like a bluish grey kind of colour, which I really really like because it's a bit more unique. It came in the navy blue as well, but um I decided to not pick that one up because like I think I've seen quite a few people wearing it in navy blue and the dark red and pink so I decided to pick up this grey one and it came with the long sleeve top that you would always wear with it so that's that I picked up two dresses from this brand um, which I'm not very familiar with obviously because it's like a thigh it's like a Thai local brand. I'll leave the links in the description below because the lady at the shop left her name card with me. So I thought, hey, why not just put them in the description box for you guys to check out. So this is the brand. <laughs> so anyway, this first dress is a midi dress. And it has this really flowy, flowy material which I really like because it falls really nicely. And it comes with the little things, like the waist band thingies that you can tie around your waist. So it accentuate, accentuates your waist, which I really like. And it has these little sleeves, which I like as well. And it has the lacing detail at the front. This came in quite a few prints, but I decided for a plain navy blue one because the rest were all florals. And I didn't really want to pick up too many florals because I know I won't really wear them as much. Although I just naturally get attracted to floral prints for some reason. So the next dress I got from that shop was this grey one which is also a midi dress and this one's of a heavier material and this one's just a hound's tooth print and this one has the buttons up the front and no sleeves. It's pretty nice I guess since it's a thicker material so I guess the sleevelessness, the sleevelessness of it <laughs> would definitely be great for this hot Singapore weather and it comes with the waist band as well except this one is like removable so you know you could put in your own little belt and all that so yeah and the last dress I got from Bangkok was this maxi dress and I got this at the Chatuchak market 
So the lady who makes these dresses makes everything herself. I'm not really the one to wear like super bright colors. I usually like to wear black. And the reason why I decided to pick this one up was because I thought the prints, you know, the base is still black, which I didn't really mind. But it was the neckline that caught my eye because everything else had a black neckline. Like majority of her dresses had the black braided necklines. And this was the only dress in the entire shop that had the coral one. So I thought it was more unique. And because this wasn't exactly the cheapest, so I decided to pick this one up. I love the print. And I picked up a leather jacket because I was in dire need of a leather jacket just because my old one was peeling. So this one was a bit expensive but I thought since I needed a leather jacket and I needed a good one, why not spend a bit more money on it? But it wasn't like insanely expensive. I think this was about slightly over a thousand baht. So it wasn't too bad. But it's not as cheap as everything else. But I quite like it. The next thing I got was from Chatu Chak Market as well and it's this baseball jersey thing, it's like a cotton baseball jersey which is very simple. Um, well, I've been wanting one for a while now, it's just that I didn't really like the red ones because I don't really like the, to wear the colour red or like I don't really like to wear reds and purples. So when I saw this navy blue one, I thought like, hey, why not just pick that up? So yeah! And also from Chatu Chak, I picked up this like crochet bralette thing which I don't really know how I'm gonna wear it because like there's no freaking way I'm just gonna wear this out with like a sticky bra or a bikini underneath because that's kind of crazy so maybe I'll save it for one of those beach holiday things and this was an absolute impulse buy I kind of regret getting it but I think I could find a use for it sooner or later the next things I got were pajamas cause I quite like pajamas. It's just that I was thinking of getting um, not say proper pajamas, but something a bit more soft and silky compared to the cotton ones that I always wear. So I picked this up. It's a nightgown, cute little bow on top. I picked up the two-piece one, which is which you know I didn't pick out the same print obviously because that's quite a waste. So I picked up the polka dot ones. And they come in these little shorts, which are really cute and comfy. And moving on to accessories. I picked up this golden seashell bag from Siam Square, if I remember correctly. So this one comes with a long chain, like really, really long chain, which is pretty nice. I don't really carry small bags, but I thought I should get like a nice small bag just in case. I would ever need one, although I'm not really sure when I would need it. But I like this one anyway. I've been wanting the one from I've been wanting the one from Skinny Dip, which is like a I think it was a white or silver pearlescent one. But I guess the gold one's pretty nice as well, you know. So I thought, why not? The next thing I got was another bag because the bucket bag I was using in Bangkok was such a sad excuse for a bag because it was peeling all over the place. It was horrible. So I just picked up this black one, which is a lot smaller than my bucket bag, but I mean, it it followed me throughout the rest of the trip. And you know, it's just a basic boxy bag, which is great. So I think I just use this when I go overseas and everything. And I think that'll be pretty nice. Cause it's just things other than this. I quite like it. The next thing I picked up was this eye mask. <laughs> from Chuck to Chuck. I know it's like really <laughs> it's quite a weird thing to pick up but I found it really cool because you have this like cooling pack thing. You have this cooling pack thing inside. So you pop it in the freezer and it gets really cold and then you pop it back in the little kitty. Just so you know this com just so you know this comes in like many patterns. I just happened to pick the cat one up. I wanted to pick the bunny one up but I only found out when I paid for this so yeah. Anyway, so you pop it in the freezer and then you pop it over your eyes. The next things I got were these two hair stick thingies. The stuff that you stick in your hair, you know, when you tie your bun, you like you whirl it up and then you just stick it in your head. So these are made of like real seashells, I guess. Well, this is an actual seashell, obviously. And this one is like a flower made of seashells, which is 
quite pretty. The next thing I got was this Dreamcatcher necklace. I had to hunt so hard for this because a lot of the shops didn't carry a white one. A lot of them were like brown, grey and black which I didn't really want so I finally found this towards the end of the trip and you know what I was like yeah I'm just gonna buy it because I've been looking for it so and the next thing I bought was this necklace this is probably gonna turn my skin green but <laughs> hey it's a rocking horse or a rocking unicorn and if you don't follow me on Instagram, you probably wouldn't know that I really, really like unicorns. So, hey, now you know I really like unicorns. And obviously, this is a rocking unicorn, so I'm gonna rock it. So the next thing I picked up was this glass bowl, which was also from Chatuchak, and it was a su and it was surprisingly cheap. It was like 120 baht, so I was quite surprised. I didn't think it was gonna be that cheap, and I wished I bought more because there were so many pretty colors. But I decided to go for this like purpley blue one that reminded me of Mermaids and Rarity from My Little Pony which is my favourite pony ever. So what I decided to do with this was keep like my candles, my scented candles in and I could just like you know burn them without worrying about where the wax goes. So yay! I also picked up some socks because I really like cute printed socks. Like who doesn't, right? So I got four pairs, which is a bit overwhelming, but they were selling six for a hundred baht at Chatu Chak and I gave two away. So I left myself with four. So they so these ones have like a clock and a rabbit. I have another pair with bananas. Pink horses. I kinda think it's kinda weird right now, but spell of the moment and I got these blue floral ones as well. I picked up these two caps from the night market which up till now I still do not know what that night market is. I'm so sorry but it's near the Berkeley Hotel and they have like the little colorful tents and all that so you probably can't miss it if you stay at the Berkeley Hotel which I didn't by the way. This one's like a seal kind of face which is so cute. I'm not too sure about the bag though. I don't really like these weird... I don't know what these adjusting things are called but I don't really like these kinds. I used to like the fitted caps but fitted caps are kind of hard to get for me. So I usually get the smallest size for the fitted caps and then I turn to snap bags because I realized you could pull your ponytail through the snap bag. But I kind of didn't like that. Sometimes I had to wear it like this because I my head's small so I had to wear it with this bit sticking out which kind of annoyed me. But at least this one's a snapback. And you would have seen me wearing this in my vlog. And in my vlog. Links in the description box, shameless plug. And now moving on to shoes. So the first pair I bought were these sparkly platform heels. I know they're a bit much but I thought with a plain black dress or a plain white dress these would look really really nice and you know they have these like dangly little things which I thought were kind of nice and they have instead of like getting the buckle thing it's just like a cheap hook thing <laughs> which I think is great because I don't want to spend like forever taking these off after you know like a long event or something but I really really wanted a sparkly pair and I'm just happy I got these and they're really comfortable strangely this brand um what's it called shops shops gila the next pair I got from that shop were these nude pumps I always wanted to get a pair of nude pumps but I never really figured whether I wanted the suede kinds the matte kinds or the patent kinds and I decided to get the patent kinds Solely because the sweet ones at the shop weren't that pretty. And I quite like the shade of these. So yeah, I thought, you know, why not just grab a pair? Since like this brand had really comfy shoes, so you know. I also picked up a few sandals in three colours. Obviously they're in different designs. This one's just a black one with the elastic. The brown ones are these crisscrossy ones, which you can just like pull at the back, which is which is great. 
and these white ones which are really really pretty and I like the gold detail so they kind of don't look too sloppy which is great so these are really really light and I thought you know these could be kind of emergency shoes as you call it like if you're wearing heels and you know you're gonna have a long night and you don't want to go home with your aching feet in your heels and you want to wear something comfortable and the last pair I got were these Melissa's I don't own any Melissa's but I've heard so much about Melissa's and I have really bad feet because like my feet tend to get blisters and they tend to hurt really bad because I have flat feet and my friends told me that Melissa's are really really comfy so my dad was saying that you know I should give them a go so I picked these up and the shop was having like a 50% off so that's way cheaper than getting them in Singapore so why not right? I picked them up in this rose gold and they have these like really pretty patterns on them the, they're like wings and lizards apparently and like horses and keys and all that like even the soles are really pretty like take a look like I don't even want to imagine how I would feel when the soles eventually like wear off because that would be really really sad but I hope these last me a long time because they're honestly really really soft and really comfortable so yeah I'm on the bandwagon right now and it kind of smell nice so that's all for my Bangkok haul I hope you guys enjoyed my very first haul video I'll see you guys in my next video